Last year he's been a star of the Essendon Football Club and he's been good enough to join us tonight. Spike, welcome to you. What's your initial reaction to uh, this extraordinary news about the chairman? Uh, no surprise to us. Um, I think um, David's been under an extraordinary amount uh, of the pressure and uh, it's uh, finally got to him. And I think uh, I had a phone call for him uh, early this afternoon and uh, informed me of uh, what he was going to do due to his health reasons and um, some concerns around that. And, uh, yeah, so I wasn't surprised, mate, but uh, very, very disappointed and very upset that a uh, person of great character and also a great representative of the football club that's contributed a lot in his short period of time is no longer at the helm. You've talked about the health issues there, Mark, and I understand the last 48 hours have taken a particular toll on David. What can you tell us about that in particular? Probably, uh, Sam, not can't really uh, disclose that at this stage. Um, that's for David to address at some stage in the future. But, uh, look, I just know that uh, he'd been battling this for quite some time and uh, it's taken a huge toll on him and his family. And uh, I think Hurdy alluded to that uh, post-game. Uh, last night that, um, you know, it's affecting people's lives. It's uh, really having a huge stress not only on uh, the players, which is important, of course, but uh, the people that are involved heavily with the Essendon Footy Club. And um, you have to respect that. And uh, we all just uh, probably back up what he said. We need to know what is going on. We need to know the truth. Uh, we think we know the truth, uh, the players that is, and who was involved and who are currently there. But... Um, it's yet to be come out in public and uh, we just need to hear it. You're obviously great mates with David and also James Heard, Mark. Uh, having seen what's happened tonight, uh, are you expecting James Heard to survive here as well? Yeah, I expect James to keep going. I expect him to uh, be the coach of the footy club, of course, this year and um, next year and years beyond. Um, I think uh, still believe strongly and I have from the start that players didn't receive anything illegal and, and I hope and pray and... Uh, make sure that that comes out in the future, um, especially in the next couple of weeks, that that, that is the case. And, uh, and I expect James to be the, the coach for many years to come. And um, I, my opinion hasn't wavered. I haven't been told any different. I haven't been told that I've received anything illegal, neither has any other Essendon player. So we still wait for Asada and their investigations and their finalisation. You were there last year. And when you talk about the personal toll, there's no doubt that it's had a toll on you, Mark. Today there was a front page report in The Age that said that police were possibly going to investigate uh, a, an allegation that the players were actually part of a secret drug trial. What does that news mean to you? Uh, ridiculous. <laughs> uh, don't agree with that whatsoever. Um, and if that's the case, we knew nothing about it. So, um, Sam, as, as we know, there's been a lot of innuendo, there's been a lot of uh, rumours. Um, untruth um, reported and uh, we still don't know um, exactly what happened. We don't know what certain parties that were involved in Essendon and that no longer there had dealt with. Um, but uh, to hear that is surprising and shocking and uh, for me disrespectful and um, I stand by the footy club. I stand by James Third, Bruce Reed, David Evans um, and I find those relevant. Elevation is really uh, surprising, to be honest. But you, you, you're acknowledging that it is possible? No, I'm not acknowledging it's possible. I don't think it's possible at all. OK. Spike, the uh, reaction on Twitter from the Essendon players has been uh, incredible. The, uh, there's been a lot of anger. People saying this is disgraceful that someone of David Evans' quality yep. and character could uh, be forced to uh, to resign. Are they the sentiment, sentiments that you would echo tonight, having spoken to him? Oh, absolutely. I think the players um, know what David has done uh, does, uh, for them, uh, not only b before this stuff broke, um, but during this time he's been strong, he's backed the players to the hill, he's made sure that the players have been uh, supported in every which way. Um, and he knew they were going through a tough time. He's uh, put a lot of his own finances dark into the development out of Tull Marine. He's uh, not all about um, himself, he's all about the football club and and what Essendon is about. And, uh, yeah, everyone's surprised and shocked and disappointed because we know what sort of a good person he was and we know how well he leads the football club and supports the players. So, yeah, very, very sad in terms of um, for the players and a great supporter of the footy club. But, uh, once again, we have to respect uh, David and his health and his family and um, that's paramount and, and that's the main thing. Good on you, Mark. You've been rock solid behind the bombers. Appreciate your time in talking to us tonight. Mark uh, McVeigh there.